Welcome everyone to a replay cast here. We have the doghouse on the Legion side taking on white flag gamers here on the Hellborn side. And it looks like we have all the players here except I believe Dutch is missing here for white flag gamers. They have a ringer in his place here. Um, being fallen one. So we have the draft kind of underway here. We have Drunken Master, Corrupted Disciple, and Geomancer going to be the bands from the Legion side. Monarch, the Chipper, and Gemini going to be the bands here from our Hellborn side. So as we can see, um, three support heroes get banned, and then we have three cores or carry style of picks. Uh, specifically the Corrupted and Gemini, and then the Drunken Master has a potential solo laner somewhere. So those will be the first six bands here in game number one. We have a first pick of the Gladiator coming out from the Doghouse, and then we have response picks of Moira and Behemoth coming out from the side of White Flag Gamers. So we see Moraxis and Glacius going to be the response picks here. The Moraxis pick, no doubt, Going to be counter picking the Moira there, looking to get him a good start and hopefully a portal key. As uh, I believe we will see off lane Moraxis and mid Gladiator with those picks or a solo lane Moraxis and potential solo lane Gladiator. And they will pick up their support being the Glacius there. Um, we will now enter into the second banning wave here. Speed this up a little bit and we'll talk about the bans. As they do take place, we have a Draconis first ban coming out from the Hellborn side. Definitely something that Doghouse is very comfortable running. They also get rid of both the Sandwraith and the Sir Benzington. So getting rid of the secondary cores to the Gladiator. Um, any kind of global presence as well, as they do already have the Gladiator picked for early to mid-game catch with the showdown to start off team fights. So... Getting rid of the global presence there is the side of Hellborn. We have Dark Lady, Swift Blade, and Lord Self Forest going to be banned from the Doghouse. So they, they ban a mixture of heroes, a couple of carries, and then the Lord Self Forest, which um, we have seen ran by White Flag Gamers quite well. And something that the Gladiator, I think, doesn't want to have to deal with as Self Forest very, very disruptive in those melee 1v1s. But uh, we're now in the secondary pick wave. So we have Hellborn going into their reserve time here. I'll speed it up just a little bit. They have 30 seconds left on the clock. They got two picks coming up. I'm expecting to see some core heroes shown here. They're going to go with the Oogie and then the Flux. So they will pick up what looks to me to be like a mid Flux and a carry Oogie. And still not too sure how we're going to see this Behemoth played. I'm expecting it to be more of a, a secondary support, but it could still be an offlaner, and that could leave room for the fifth pick to be either a position 3 hero or a position 4 hero or even a jungler if they so wanted to do so. But uh, with the Oogie picked up so far, definitely looking like they want to team fight quite a lot. So they're building a fighting lineup. We'll see what the Doghouse does decide to go for here. They have 80 seconds to work with. We'll speed this up once again. And we'll discuss the final two picks for their side in a moment. So, we'll see what they do decide to go for here. They are needing both a carry and potentially another support hero. And it's going to be Madman and Empath. So they will pick... Two hard supports, being the Empath and the Glacius up. They're going to go with a pretty hard carry, I would say, in the Madman. And I'm expecting Fa to be playing the Madman in this game. Um, and that means Nuki will probably play the Gladiator. So we'll see the position for Glacius, which we have seen them run Jungle Glacius from time to time if they do decide to try lane defensively. Um, they could send Glacius to the jungle as well. Um, he can get something like either an early portal key or a step of the master. Pharaoh. And there's going to be the Pharaoh on the fifth and final pick of the game here. So looks like it will be an offlane Pharaoh and a second support behemoth. 
And I, I will say, Pharaoh is quite a good pick this game. They did save that last pick for, I would say, a pretty good hero. Uh, couldn't really counter pick the Ugi too much since the Cell Forest was banned. There was something like Mage Bane, but I don't know if Doghouse was looking to, to pick up something like that uh, instead of the Madman. But the Pharaoh pick, quite good. There's no hero that can escape the wall, so they will need to pick up Tablets of Command to deal with the Pharaoh. Um, which means he should have some pretty good presence here in this game number one. And I'm expecting the defensive tri-lane with, uh, with Ugi, Behemoth, and Moro. We'll see what they do decide to go for. Um, Legion on the other side. I'm not exactly sure how they're going to lane. I think they have some options, but I think we will see more access in the off lane. And I think that they will either dual mid or tri-lane short and have Glacius jungling. See what they do decide to do here, but Empath could also potentially be mid with the Gladiator. And it's actually Zanuki playing Madman, and Fa is playing the Gladiator here. So not going to be doing what I was initially thinking that they would do, uh, which was put Zanuki on Madman and Fa on Gladiator. They swap up the position 1 and 2 roles here. But uh, they are going to be running the two supports. Empath possibly with Gladiator mid. Glacius with Madman. And we see Flux in the mid lane. There's the defensive tri lane with Ugi, Behemoth, and Moira. And then they have Pharaoh for the long lane. So, safe to say, I think we'll see um, possibly the Moira come to mid lane with the Flux. Don't think that they will keep Flux 1v2. Um, Behemoth will probably be like a pseudo roamer slash secondary support this game. Which means if Moira leaves top lane, uh, Moraxis might get a lot more XP than he would normally get. So, already... They see it's a dual mid. Moira is most likely going to move over here and rotate to the mid lane. Take a tab here on the creep score. Pharaoh already getting lane control bottom. I think they did that on purpose so that they could stack and pull. And I missed the Bloodless kill, of course. So, Empath perhaps got a little too aggressive on Flux. Moira moved over. And they got the kill onto Empath there for the Bloodlust. Flux will need to send himself a health potion. Meanwhile, Gladiator, he has the Pitfall level 1. Hasn't spec to whip or showdown just yet. Good harass coming in onto the gladiator. Stun will connect there. They have the health potion on the gladiator. Morax is hiding in the trees here. He's trying to get some XP. Actually, he did get boxed out pretty well. I'm surprised by that. He's not able to get any XP. Aim is already halfway to level 2. Bottle picked up by Flux. Glacier's going to get an invisibility. That could potentially be a kill either on the Moira or the Flux with three people. I'm not sure if they can kill the Flux. They might need to get him down the hill here. There's the freeze. Pitfall is actually going to miss. Not the best coordination there. If they had landed the pitfall, that probably would have been a kill. It's going to still be a kill, regardless. And Moira is also going to fall. So it will be two kills. The Invis Glacius proving to be quite deadly there. A 
We have a 2 to 1 hero kill lead now in favor of the doghouse. Charge the Harkon, I'm gonna stun up the gladiator. There's the mana sunder, the release on top. A lot of damage coming. He does have the apple. Actually, doesn't use the apple. I think he didn't expect to die there. And unfortunately, gladiator will fall. He was on a 15 and 2 creep score. Very, very good creep score compared to the flux so far. Currently have Madman on 26 and 9. He is the top creep farmer and top farmer of the game. Ugi is only on 22. Comparison. Marxis is still 0 and 0 uh, creep score. Currently, he does have a health pot. See, top rune will be camped by Moira and Behemoth. Pharaoh gonna go to bottom rune. He's gonna take the refreshment. Moira has the bottle of flux. They will bottle illusion rune. Flux with illusion is gonna be pretty nice. I am a little bit surprised that Moraxis isn't able to get any experience or uh, any creep kills, but he just gets his first one here at the four minute mark. Bottom lane, we have a dive coming in on the Pharaoh. It looks like the wall was used. He's gonna throw out a barrel roll. And there's the Tundra Blast or Glacial. Yeah, the Tundra Blast. They do take out the Pharaoh. Pharaoh falls for the first time. He has 11 creep kills in comparison to the two of Moraxis, so he's doing really well in the off lane. The Legion have destroyed the Hellborn Tower. They already take out the tower in the bottom lane, so while Pharaoh is gone, they push the tower. Alright, Zarakon not gonna connect there. Mana Sender comes out on the Empath. Insta stun there by Empath with the link. Wall blocking up Maraxis here in the top lane. Ugi throws out another Tarquake. Maraxis still has a little over 100 life, so he's gonna be fine, but he'll need to go back to base and regen. We have an 1800 gold lead from the side of Doghouse. Now well, we're gonna head to the top rune with the bottle from Flux. And Gladiator bottles DD. Or er, Invis. Not sure why I said DD. Falcon X there. See, Ugi picks up the sorcery boots and the Ring of the Teacher recipe. Looks like it could be going for Ring of the Teacher. So into a gnome. So we have a fight here. Pitfall. I don't know if the pitfall. Yeah, it looks like it missed actually. Flux still gonna fall to the wall. Glacius here once again. He's got another ice imprisonment. There's a freeze. Does use the apple, but he is gonna get the counter kill there on the empath. Was he two for one? We're all gonna run into Glacius here, it's gonna be a kill. We got Madman with Chalice and Sustainer, so he's going for Cleaver. He's off to a fantastic start, he's gonna get a really early Cleaver at this point. Dive coming in top lane. Our Axis lines up a two man Quake. I think he could have maybe turned around and threw out some axes there. But, uh. He's not gonna get the counter kill. So he did fall through the Tarquake. Let's see, Flux picking up a bracer. So we give the bottle to Moira once again. Try to stack the jungle, then get the top rune. 
We see empath stacking up this side of the jungle. Gladiator as well. So both sides stacking the camps. Got an illusion in here going to Gladiator. Got the word coming in. I don't think that spotted here. Aim at this here with a potential wall. He's gonna line up a double stun. They're gonna maybe kill Gladiator. They will, but Empath makes the escape. Pharaoh also TP'd. Had Wrath of the Pharaoh, but didn't find this opening. We could have a dive coming in on the Moraxis here. He does have Matrax. So he should be just fine. So Pharaoh versus Morax is 16 and 0, 19 and 1, both hitting level 6. Pretty pretty even for the two offlaners. Oh, Morax is gonna get walled off here, but Gladiator's here. There's a pitfall. Lines up on two. Here comes the Cult Arms. Do they have the damage to bring down Oogie, though, is the question. He's got the Primal Surge activated. He's going to try to heal up with the Tar Quakes. Will he be able to make the escape? There's another Quake Stun. Meanwhile, bottom lane, they do kill the Pharaoh. Oogie is going to fall. And it actually is a double tap for Moraxis, so a great port in from Gladiator. Meanwhile, the Galatius and the Madman take out the Pharaoh. And I believe Snooki has enough gold for his cleaver here. Um, has he bought the recipe actually? Oh, he has, and he has another 850 gold already. He's already on 530 GPM. He could look to continue to be greedy here, pick up something like Lifesteal, or go straight into the Steam Boots if he wishes to do so. Um, well, he's just gonna start damaging the jungle caps here for him. So Oogie is a little bit behind, but definitely a hero that can flash farm quickly. He's got the gnomes picked up before that death. Now he can definitely rotate into the jungle with sorcery roots and gnomes. Glad you're gonna work on some stacks here as well. Madman does pick up the lifesteal. But he's going a very greedy build here, but again, he's very far ahead right now. I'll wait for those camps to respawn, and it'll continue to fire away in the jungle. We'll be doing the same thing. And then Behemoth is going to take over the top lane. Glacius is going to take over the bottom lane. We'll continue to see the dual mid from both sides. Lux and Moira versus Gladiator and Empath. The Falcon X here on to the Flux. Pretty quick break of the link there from Empath. Let's just somehow has a portal key. He's got Striders and portal key. I'm not sure if he did the Ophelius Pact already as well. Top lane Moraxis goes down. Gladiator was here with the haste rune. Pharaoh, it does catch him with his Wrath of the Pharaoh though. Was not a hasty gladiator. There's the shockwave. Glacius was here. He's gonna freeze. Channel the glacial downpour. Gets the one kill on Behemoth. Pharaoh takes a lot of pressure. Oh, he survives on six life. Oh my god, that was so close to being a double tap for Glacius. While this is going on, Madman is. Working on the tier 2 tower here. Will anyone defend this is the question. Um, it looks like this tower will go down. Good deny coming in from Empath. Flex was going for the tower there. 
It's not gonna get it. Pitfall lands here on to the flux. There's a pull from Gladiator. The pitfall does miss. Stomp. Gladiator gonna get pulled over the fissure wall. And Behemoth is gonna get frozen. There's an arcade vortex though. Potentially saving him here. So the team support's coming. Here comes Pharaoh. Lines up a Wrath of the Pharaoh in the background on the Glacius. Behemoth does go down. There was a buyback from the Gladiator. As Flux, he's taking a freeze here from the Glacius. Will he go down is the question. He might get caught. He does. As Madman comes in from the flank with the barrel roll. Call to Arms gonna land on the Moira. And the buyback will get Fa one kill. Meanwhile, Pharaoh is trying to make the escape here. Moraxis is in the area. Can't line up an axe. He will light up that one. Pharaoh's going to fall. The only one to stay alive is Oogie, who is off in the top lane. So bad man, he's up to 630 gold per minute already. 302 stat line for Snooki. I think he just got a Warhammer delivered. What's he gonna buy with the Warhammer? Probably a shrunken head. A um, little bit surprised that he keeps the red boots. Doesn't upgrade into steam boots. But uh, maybe he just wants the early shrunken head. I think Null Fireblade would be really good on Madman this game against the Oogie. We see the icon of the goddess. He does break the sorcery boots for that. So with that pickup, that screams to me that they want a team fight right away. Wants to start building charges on that icon. Ghost marchers and Besson picked up on gladiator. No build up item just yet. Major totem on the empath. I'm um, actually not sure what he's building that into just yet. That's uh, Moraxis has his portal key. 15 minutes in. He's only 240 GPM, but he's got Strider's portal key. So Oogie's going to clear a stack here. Going to be quite low on life here. Don't think he'll be looking to fight just yet. Here is the Berserk activated from Madman. He's gonna go for the Kongor here. He's got Empath using the As one here with him. He's gonna take out that Kongor relatively easily. We've got the shrunken head, I think, finished here from Madman. 16 minute shrunken head cleaver whisper. Pretty good farm coming in from Snooki. Almost 700 GPM. And well, they could definitely look to team fight, but I think he still probably wants the steam boots finished as well. Here comes the showdown. Moraxis is here. There is the Quake Sun from Moraxis to catch the Moira. Pharaoh is. Locking them down in his wall, but he is the one getting turned on as the glacial downpour connects. There is a pull in as they will do the flux behemoth combo. Madman's trying to hold his ground. He will stay alive. Meanwhile, Oogie in the background. He gets a serial killer streak. They take out the two supports. Morax is going to fall as well. Oogie is chasing down the gladiator here. He's going to line up Tarquake. There's a showdown from Gladiator. Tarquake gonna land there again on the gladiator and he has ran out of mana so it looks like we will see the chase stop but three players did fall for the legion side and on the side of hellborn it looks like they lost moira and pharaoh so it actually was a better fight for hellborn as the flux pull into behemoth ulti was very nice they got the kills on the supports there that man trying to get the kill here on the flux. But he's getting dusted up. He's going to get stunned. And Snooki might fall here. Oh, he's going to survive for now. 
There's a Quake Stun from our Axis lands on the both the Flux and the Oogie, but there's no follow up damage. Glacius comes in with a freeze. As Flux ports out to base, they do take out the Moraxis. And they will not get any kills here on the side of Legion. So we did have the Shamans picked up by Gladiator. We'll see if he goes into the Barrier Idol, which would be quite good this game. Uh... Really good portal key timings from Glacius and Moraxis this game, but nothing um, nothing since the portal keys just yet. We have Madman finishing his uh, steam boots here. He's gonna find the Moira here. Pops the shrunken head. There's the arcane vortex. He does have the shrunken head on. So Oogie jumps in there. Empath, is she gonna be fine? She will go down to Oogie. Rather, the Pharaoh takes out Glacius with Ugi. Double tap gonna happen for Volca. Or, yep, for the Pharaoh. Madman is taking a lot of pressure here from the Ugi. He cannot man up right now as Ugi is currently healing with that icon. And we'll see if they invest into a Dreamcatcher here. Maybe, maybe one of the supports can get a Dreamcatcher. As I think they want the barrier riddle on the gladiator. But uh, it was a double tap for the Pharaoh before he did end up falling. We see Oogie picks up the post haste here. See what he decides to go for as his next item. Maybe something like a sheepstick against the madman. Or a frostfield plate could be quite good. Let's see what he goes for. Um, as those are just some of his options. We have a mighty blade on Madman, so he might be going brutalizer here. I do think I would have rather seen Nullfire Blade. We see a pull on the top lane. Gladiator maybe gonna fall here. Nice Wrath of the Pharaoh from Volca. He's gonna catch Glacius with the wall. Gladiator does fall. Pharaoh is going to fall. Behemoth falls as well. And Glacius stays alive actually. It was a three for one trade. They only lost the Gladiator there. And we see the, the power of the Empath with the Madman. So he's able to deal so much damage. Right now he's on 16% hero damage. I'm gonna try to take out the tower there. It might fall to the creeps, as it looks like it will. Boogie is working on the jungle. We saw Flux pick up in Sanitarius following his Astrolabe. He's currently almost 400 gold per minute. Pretty much tied with the Gladiator. Moraxis uh, did pick up a Chalice since his portal key. I think we will most likely see Hellflower. Uh, that is the typical route for Moraxis. <clears throat> uh, see the 700 GPM barrier being uh, broken. Oh, he went for Ice Brand. I really don't like that. I think he's going to go for Dawnbringer. But I think either a Null Fire Blade or a, a Brutalizer would have been much better here. To utilize his Berserk attack speed. I, I really dislike the Ice Brand against the Ugi. Gladiator picks up a dream catcher, so they don't build that on a support. They do pick it up on the gladiator. Which I figure is okay. We'll see if he still goes idle or not. Behemoth has his portal key now. That's a big pickup for the Hellborn side. Let's see if they look to force any tower pushes now. Boogie does pick up a luminous prism, so I believe we'll see Sheepstick. We see Flux getting picked off in the mid lane. They get the catch with the portal keys. The Hellborn have destroyed a legion tower. Tower goes down in favor of Hellborn. We have a 
Small lead for Legion here, 4,000 gold. Yeah, Madman goes for Frostburn. I really don't like that. I feel like Frostburn is not a very good item on Madman. Um, in comparison to something like a Nullfire Blade. Tower being worked on here. Creeps will take it out. I wonder if Glacius will buy a staff and staff the empath. That'd be pretty pretty nice, I would say. He does pick up a Neophytes book. So, the carries are gonna end up duking it out, it looks like here. Both mids almost at 400, but the rest of the supporting cast kind of between 200 and 300 GPM. Oh, we have an Arcane Vortex here. Lugie's staying alive with the Tarkwake, sealing up with the Primal Surge. Here comes a Cult Arms, gonna land onto two heroes, the Flux. And the Ugi, Shards of Hargon gets put onto the Ugi. Mor Morax is going to take some heavy pressure here. He's going to fall as Ugi just got the Sheepstick delivered. And we see only Morax is falling in this fight. Madman does not have a shrunken head up any longer. Sheepstick will come out on the Gladiator. Glacier's trying to stall them as best he can, and he will actually survive on the Gladiator. Madman gonna try to steal the uh, Hellborn's Congor here while they are grouped up, but it looks like I'm not sure if they know about this. They see Ugi run to the Ancients, and he has a sheepstick. That would have been a pretty cool steal if he was able to get that, but they gotta go for their own Congor. Berserk's still active for nine more seconds. And the Congor looks like it will be falling here shortly. Elborn team realizing, hey, wait a minute, our Congor has some damage on it. Ugi gonna use the Veiled Rod here, he's got the Sheepstick, so he'll try to get a pick off. Blaze is gonna be in some trouble here. I think the Sheepstick got blocked by Moraxis. Really nice Arcane Shield there. We have an Arcana on Moraxis. Arrow also picking up an Arcana. Maybe he will be building into a Health Flower as well. Let's just go straight the Tablet, which... It's hard to say that that is not good. They are up against a Pharaoh and they do need a Tablet on their team. However, I was really hoping it would be a Staff just to upgrade the Empath. And they get kind of three Staffs for the price of one and a half Staffs. Mighty Blade picked up on Oogie, that will pro probably be a shrunken head. You see Flux picking up the portal key. Well, I was actually about halfway to a Hellflower. Let's 
Sackstone on the Empath. It's going for, I think, a tablet as well. This turn bottled by Flux. Moira is about 800 from a portal key or 900. Gladiator with 2,700 gold saved up, and I'm wondering if he's going to go for more of a semi-carry route here to back up the madman, or if he's going to go for utility items. Madman, it looks like finish the Dawnbringer again. I really dislike Dawnbringer on Madman. I feel like this could have been Nullfire or Basher, and they would be able to deal with the Ugi so much better. Especially since he didn't have a Shrunken Head to deal with the Mana Combustion, but it's gonna have the uh, slow from the Dawnbringer to maybe run at him. We have a Sheepstick Ugi here smoked up. We're gonna get the sheep stick here on the gladiator. There's the freeze. Charge the Harakon. There's the Wrath of the Pharaoh though. Not the best Arcane Vortex, but they do get the kill on the Glacius. Maraxis gets to activate his Matrix. And he blinks away. And he's up to nine Icon charges right now. They're knocking on the door to the base. Madman, he's gonna go for the Pharaoh here. Quick kill happening. The Quake Stun going to miss. Madman did a good bit of damage there. Had that Quake Stun landed, that could have maybe been a dead Oogie. So they had no Arcane Vortex up. But unfortunately, the Quake Stun did miss. And we see Ugi post haste out. He will continue to keep farming. Did have the shrunken head used there. Well, Carry's pretty high up there in farm. Again, not really changing too much. There's only a 2,000 gold advantage for Legion. This game feels more or less dead even. Even getting jumped here by Moraxis. Madman is here as well. They're going to take out the Behemoth. There's a champion in New Earth for Madman. Continues to reign at the top here. But don't count Oogie out. He is not too far behind. And he's working on his next item, which could be a Frostfield plate. Uh, he has the amulet if he chooses to upgrade that into a Frostfield. Moira, I think she's possibly getting a word down. They don't know where Axis is up here. Oh, they did see him now. He's gonna activate the Matrix. Gonna board out in the trees. He'll be fine. Madman has a double damage rune for 34 seconds. Hamid failed rotted currently. Access to stun the creeps. 
Lux gonna get slowed up here by the Madman. We see the Link coming out from Empath. Gameth gonna get frozen here by the Glacius. Pharaoh does lock down the Madman. Here comes the Sheepstick though from Oogie and Madman could be in some trouble. No shrunk and Hetty's going to fall. The first death for Snooki this game as the Quick Stun stomps onto two. Meanwhile, Empath getting caught in the Pharaoh wall. Empath will fall. Let me see the Flux pull catching more rocks as he doesn't have a PK for three more seconds. He does have the Matrox up as he is taking damage. He will be brought down. And it's going to be three kills going the way of Way Flag Gamers. I see a spiked Bola even picked up here on the Flux. And I believe Pharaoh just got his Hellflower finished. He might be still missing a little bit of gold for that, but. Spike Bola gonna be a pretty big pickup here from the Flux to deal with the Madman. And I believe Oogie might have bought something. Moira should also be probably at Portal Key by now. Gladiator gonna TP home. He does go for a Shrunken Head actually on the Gladiator. I'm a little bit surprised that he goes for Shrunken and he doesn't uh, finish the Barrier Riddle. We're gonna get pitfalled here. Wall is not gonna lock him in the base. Here comes a pull from the Flux. The buyback happens from Madman. Chunkanet gets activated by the Gladiator. As we see the disarm coming in from Flux on the Madman. Empath is inside him. He still has a shrunken head up. There's the Quake Stun from Moraxis Boogie. He does not have the shrunk, or he does have the shrunken on the Frostro Plate. Gets activated. It's a double tap for Madman. They do take out the Oogie with the Glacius as well. And there's the freeze stopping the teleport of Pharaoh. Moraxis actually goes down to the Pharaoh there. Glacius maybe going to go down. Gladiator trying to block him. It's a double tap for the Glacius. And it will be a full genocide here. That was two. No, that was one buyback um, on the Madman. And it proved to be a pretty good buyback as well. As they did end up getting a genocide here. There is currently no buybacks on the side of Hellborn. The Madman activates the Berserk. He's going to go for the base tower here. They are up on Behemoth in 6 seconds. Moira and the Flux. I don't actually think that this is going to be a Rax. But they should get the tower and probably they will fall back. Maybe to the Congor here. They still have the Berserk activated for another 12 seconds. We'll see if they can defend this Congor or not. The thing is, do they know that this is going on? This Congor is falling very fast here. Moira's going to spawn on the cliff here. Charizard is going to stun up the Glacius. Madman. Uh. I think he popped Shrunken, right? Yeah, he did use Shrunken at some point there. So they got the Congor stolen. We'll see if they can get their own Congor in the future here. Oh, Behemoth gets picked off. Wrath of the Pharaoh or, or Mumi while locking them down, but Gladiator gonna get a double tap here. He's got the Shunken wearing off now. Oogie's gonna sheep him, but it's a hasted Gladiator, and the sheep not gonna prove to come into play there. Madman is going to maybe get the Raxes here. Arcane Vortex comes out. They are gonna take out the Rax. There's the Bola from Flux. Let's see if they go for the full set here or not. Oh, the creeps! Range X is gonna stay alive for now. Madman poured it out, as well as Empath. Gladiator are gonna get sheeped up here by Oogie. I don't think he escapes here. Pitfall does connect, but there's the team support. And the Rax. Range Tax was so close to going down. I think Moraxis is almost at Hellflower. And same with Pharaoh. They've been kind of very similar in GPMs this game. But Morax is starting to outfarm him a little bit. Madman goes for the symbol of rage. He upgrades his 
Helm, uh, or Whispering Helm. I feel like he misclicked the Shunken there. I don't think he meant to Shunken. Here's the Hellflower on Maraxxus. And I think we'll see them wait until uh, Madman Shunken is back up in 50 seconds. So again, they still don't have the Hellflower finished on Pharaoh. See, a Soul's Bulwark picked up on Gladiator. Not sure if they really needed a Bulwark, because it's majority magic damage here. Again, I feel like, why not just pick up the idol uh, for, the, for that price? Nikki is not really dealing much auto attack damage is mostly through spells. So they have token for a minute and a half. We'll see if they do decide to put this token to use. We'll, we'll see the next team fight could make or break how the rest of the game shapes up here. We have an open Rex mid, only a ranged Rex in bottom. Currently have an 11,000 gold lead and almost 9,000 experience lead, but Token of life on the madman. <clears throat> Shrunken head on Glacius. It feels like they're not comfortable with pushing high ground here, going up against the Flux Behemoth. So I feel like they're gonna just waste this token. Uh, I'm trying to think of any items that they are close to completing. Maybe Madman wants to spend his gold instead of holding on to so much before fighting. But, uh, what does he buy here? Maybe even a Null Stone wouldn't be that bad against the Ugi Sheepstick. And the Hellflower. They have a Hellflower and a Sheepstick. I feel like Null Stone could be quite good here. Or a damage item. This is the main reason I don't like the Dawnbringer. It's because I feel like it doesn't, doesn't really add too much for its, the amount of gold he spent on it. <clears throat> Bound Eye picked up on the Moira. They're gonna try to get the map control back here. You give the eye over to Pharaoh, who's got the Hellflower completed. My head. Did they see Glacius up here? Oh, Glacius gonna get spotted here. Oh! How is it that they... did he go over this word? Access denied. Lugi picks up a portal key. Um, I think he sold the gnomes. 
Batman also bought a portal key. I ah uh, see, like I really don't like that. I feel like he needs to buy big items since he's so far ahead. He needs to buy uh, either defensive or offensive items that give stats to his hero, not just positioning. Because I don't feel like he really needs the portal key. I really would have liked to see either Null Stone or some kind of damage item. Whether it be Roof Shards, Harkons. Not a big fan of uh, Zinuki's Dawnbringer PK build here. And I feel like both carries investing into a PK. That favors the Uki because he has a Sheep Stick. There's a demonic breastplate on Gladiator, but again, there's not really a lot of auto attacking from from Hellborn. It's mostly magic. Maraxis uh, might be fine here. No, he gets hit with rather the Pharaoh. He's gonna fall. Really good catch from Volka, following up the Ugi initiation. Supports are jungling together. I'm not really sure. I feel like Doghouse is, is throwing their lead away at this point. I'm not really too sure. Like, a lot of the item pickups, I feel like, don't make a lot of sense. Like, the Abyssal Skull on Empath is good, and the Tablet is good, but I feel like... Is Glacius gonna get an ulti off? And if not, shouldn't he have just staffed the Empath? It's hard to say his items are not good though. Just, I guess I wish somebody was staffing Empath for the Empath Madman combo. Elbert feels like they're kind of regaining some control here. They did take out their Kongor. They continue to take out wards with the Bound Eye. I don't really see too much vision from Legion right now. Oogie's probably going to... I don't know, actually. I mean, he's got room for a big item. Batman's going to activate the Berserk. He goes for the Behemoth. He's going to kill the Behemoth here. That's a great use of the Portal Key. They're going to take out the Pharaoh as well. Meanwhile, Oogie in the background takes out the supports, both the supports, the Empath and the Glacius. Shunkanet activated here by Gladiator. There's the Spike Bola for Flux on the Batman. Defensive push from the Flux. Flux is gonna go down. This is a great fight from Doghouse. But Ugi is still holding his ground. There is a buyback coming in from Behemoth. There's the slam. The buyback comes in from Flux as well. There's a stomp from Moraxis, but he goes down. It's a quad kill coming out for the Ugi. He is going to try to make it an Annihilation! He is going to make it an Annihilation. The buyback's coming in from Hellborn. Real big here in this fight. They get almost the Genocide here. Uh, actually, no, it was a Genocide. It was the second buyback from Zinuki on Madman. And boy, oh boy, I feel like Hellborn is, uh, is looking really good right now. They just forced the second buyback from Madman. Ugi still has both his buybacks. He's got 7,000 gold still. And I feel like Madman's kind of... I don't know, like, he, he's not playing bad, but I, I just don't like the item build he's, he's gone for here. And even though he picked off the Behemoth in the fight and the Pharaoh, which was really good, uh, he was still not able to fight the Ugi toe-to-toe. -to -toe. You see the Pegasus boots picked up on Ugi now. Still with 8,000 gold. They're gonna get their first racks of the game here. And it's going to not be defended. They have open racks top as well. I feel like he could probably replace either the portal key or the icon for something better, but I'm not sure what he should get. Here comes the flux pull into the behemoth. He doesn't have the, uh, the shockwave up for three seconds. 
There's the solo shockwave on the Oraxis. They killed the madman. He didn't get his shrinking head off. Probably got hellflowered or shaped by the Oogie or the Pharaoh. And well, that's a huge initiation from Flux despite them not having the slam from Behemoth there. And I think that they just did it. Gladiator's the only one alive. They have buyback on Empath, but I don't think that's really going to change a whole lot. There's still four alive. Behemoth ports back to defend the base. They get the second Rax. And now all of a sudden Hellborn's in the lead in terms of gold and XP. I can't remember the last time they were leading in this game. It's been so long. But yeah, Oogie is almost 800 GPM. Madman's only 650. I say only because he's <laughs> trailing now. But, uh... Yeah... I'm really interested in why I, I, I tend to see people value Dawnbringer on Madman. I feel like you need proc items to take advantage of the attack beat from Berserk. Like, no Fire Basher, I feel, are just so good as a follow-up item to Shunken Head that once you get that item online, you can just run at their carry and sit on him. And you don't need to spend 6,600 gold on a Dawnbringer. And instead, you could spend a lot less gold, about half the price or, or around there for what I believe is, is a really solid item choice. But yeah, the, the demonic also on Gladiator, I feel like they needed the barrier idol this game to mitigate some magic from the side of Hellborn. Um, and even now he still has gold for a uh, barrier, he doesn't go for it. I think Moraxis probably wants to go for a shrunken head next. Make himself more durable for team fights. But yeah, one more fight like that from Hellborn and, and this game is a is a done deal. They got the two Raxes compared to the one one melee in the bot lane. And same goes for Legion, but they do have to go through two Ugi buybacks. He's got eleven thousand gold. Man, that is a lot of gold. He could buy like a courier, put a sheep stick on the courier with a mana ring and probably still still have gold for something. <laughs> That's a 12,000 gold is crazy. He's not even spending any of it. He could buy like Restoration Stone, he could buy uh, What was I gonna say? He could buy Grimoire of Power even, it's not super bad on him. They're gonna get the stomp here on the Flux, Behemoth with the Fissure. Link comes in on the Behemoth, Madman is in the Arcane Vortex. He's gonna get the Chunkin Head off, he's going for the Behemoth. Is he gonna get the kill here? He does use the Shockwave. He will fall to the wall. There's the defensive push coming in from the Flux. Pharaoh gonna go down, even with the Barbed Armor activated. The double tap coming in from Empath. Glacius channels the Glacial Downpour. They're gonna bring down the Oogie. Four kills for zero, it looks like. Really good initiation uh, from the Legion side here. And they get the bound die picked up um, on the Glacius. I believe they got that from the other team. I think it's time for Ugi to start thinking about what he wants to build with the 12,000 gold here. I think items like Grimoire and Resto Stone have a lot of merit here. And there's a Resto Stone, swap the icon out. For the rest of stone. I, I feel like getting rid of portal key first would be would make more sense. Doesn't give him anything other than positioning. We have a buyback coming in from both the behemoth and the Oogie. Here comes the pull. Gladiator gonna get his shrunken head off. And he will be fine. 
Rax is also TPing out. So they use the first buyback on Ugi. They use the second buyback on Behemoth. And we will see them hold their Rax here in the mid lane. They did put some good damage on it. But it will slowly start to reach that up. Ugi's down to only 7,000 gold now in the bank as he did swap the Icon for the Resto and did use a buyback. You see Glacius going for spell shards. I guess he feels he needs a cheap item now because the game is not going to last too much longer. Not valuing going for, for the staff. Picks up spell shards there. Homer gets taken out by Hellborn here. That's their third Congor? No, fourth. Fourth Congor. Hamath takes damage three times their movement speed, three times movement speed and stats, four times stats on Moira. Yeah, four movement speeds on Ugi. Four movement speeds on Flux. And then we we have four Congors from Hellborn or from Legion as well. Four damages on Moraxis. Four damage on Glacius. I think Empath probably takes stats, but we'll see. Movement speed on Gladiator. Movement speed on Madman. Oh, Madman sold his boots for Restoration Stone, which I think is a great pickup. He gets double uh, shrunken, double symbol. But man, I feel like I feel like his portal key should be Nullstone or something. I just I feel like if he gets caught with Sheepstick, he's probably dead. They don't have any storms. Oh, there's no there's no play if he gets caught. It's just don't get caught and initiate first, but it's kinda hard going up against the flex pool. See Hellborn, their Veiled Rod in here. Um, Behemoth. They uh, they have one Rax left to go here. They could just more or less camp outside Doghouse's base here and kind of wait for the creeps to do some work as the tier fours are taking a lot of pressure. This will probably be the last fight, most likely, if I had to guess. Um, as long as they wait for creeps to start pushing the other two lanes. Tier 4 is already taking a lot of pressure here. Lux is going to get jumped here. There's the stomp from Moraxis. It's going to activate the Hellflower. Madman jumps in the background. They're going to take out the Pharaoh. Oogie is locked in the wall with the Madman. The Disarm comes in on the Madman. Lux does fall. Behemoth is going to go down. And Oogie will fall again. Man, oh man, a huge initiation again from Legion. There was no Arcane Vortex in this fight. Flux didn't get his pull off. Not sure if Behemoth got his Shockwave to land on several heroes. And also Pharaoh, I think, got locked down. We see the tier 4 going down here. The second tier 4 taking so much pressure again with Axis. He's not the hero to really be able to defend this that well, but he's going to do the best he can as the rest of the team is pushing here. They do have a last buyback on Boogie. They're going to give up the Rax here in the mid lane. Looks like they're going for tier 4s here. I think definitely you want to buy back here um, on Oogie. He's going to buy back here. There's the sheep from Oogie. They're going to catch the gladiator here. Madman goes in on the Moira. There's the sheep stick from the restoration stone from Boogie. Oh, he gets locked down. Oh, wait. He has the staff from Empath. He's going to fall, though. And that might have been the last ditch effort there. Hatcher comes in for Oogie. Both carries out of buybacks. Oogie still alive. See the war going to be countered here from Glacius.
We have Rift Shards picked up by Gladiator. He's going all in damage. Mark's just gonna fat finger the stomp there. I think he maybe wanted to BK in. They're gonna catch Gladiator. He doesn't get a shrunken head off, he will die. Doesn't have a buyback. Shrunken heads are activated by both Maraxxus and the Oogie. Oogie gonna get stunned up. But I think this might do it. Glacius also falls here. Madman's still dead for 29 seconds. And that should do it here. 58 and a half minutes. White Flag Gamers going to take game one here. The GG's are called by both sides. And well, it almost took an hour. That was a hell of a game. I do gotta say, both teams looking to have both their highs and lows here, but I think, you know, some of the item pickups on Legion, I think, might have maybe cost them this game. I think Doghouse was looking in a really good spot. But, uh, not sure if they maybe should have pulled this one out or not. Hard to say, but... Me, personally, I would have liked to seen a couple of different item pickups here and a couple of the heroes. But, overall, well played by both sides. That will conclude the cast here for game number one.